And there you go everyone, that's a beautiful undulate ray. My first fish on the blackout from the competition range here on the beautiful Chesil Beach. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back to the Tronics Pro YouTube channel live here on Chesil Beach. You join myself, Wayne, on a beautiful scorching August day. Summer has finally turned up, so I thought I'd take you out fishing. Today, or this afternoon, my main aims are really to show you what the competition blackout, our newest rod from the competition range, can do. I'm not gonna sit here and just talk to you about the rod. I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna take you fishing and hopefully, by doing that, I can answer most of your questions while out fishing here on Chesil Beach. You would be mistaken to think we're in the Mediterranean. I've had this rod now for six weeks and I've been out using it very successfully, but it's been like midwinter. <laughs> and this is honestly the first sunny day that I've been able to take you out fishing. So here goes. Honestly, it's boiling. It's absolutely beautiful though. So yeah, the first job is to catch a few mackerel or scad. So what I'm gonna use is some 10 foot pop-ups. What I can do with this rod is show you then how good the glass tip is at close range. Over the next few months, I'm gonna be getting out a lot more on this YouTube channel. Don't worry, it's not only gonna be me. We've got lots of special guests. And what we're gonna do is launch different products through the art of fishing, like I'm doing now. For me, I could just sit here for three minutes, or I could get someone like Stu or Steve Perry, or some of the other guys we've got working for us at Tronix Pro to sit down and tell you why the rod's brilliant and why you should buy it. Yeah, that's good. But if you can see yourself, so what I'm gonna do is put myself in your position and all the questions that you're likely to ask when you maybe are in the market for a new rod or you just like watching fishing videos like me, um, hopefully we can tick all the boxes while showing you our new products and maybe existing ones that we're really happy with and we're trying to promote. After all, it's a Tronics Pro YouTube channel. So that's enough talking you're saying, let's get into the fishing. As we mentioned before, this rod is capable of casting and fishing a four to eight ounce lead with bait. This is a three ounce lead with a little pop-up rig. What I'm gonna do now is just chuck it probably 20 or 30 yards, because that's where the mackerel's running. Once we get back to the rod rest, hopefully I can show you the compression that I can get in the tip from using this little rolling lead at such short distance, just in case we may get a normal bite, as we know it, or we may get a drop back. And if the tip wasn't a glass tip, and this rod wasn't able to cast such a little lead, then we probably wouldn't see a bite and we could miss the fish. So let's get it in the water. My aim today is to fish light like this in close and catch us a few fish, primary for bait. And then I can mix it up, fish a medium distance with maybe a five ounce or a six ounce rolling lead and maybe target a bream or a codlin if we're very lucky. Yes, I know the sun's shining, but we've been catching quite a few codlin again this summer on Chesil. I think, and lots of other people who've been using this rod think it's an all-round rod suited for absolutely everyone. From casting styles to what you're gonna see now over the head to full-grown pendulum cast. I'm not a super-duper caster, and you will see in this video, I've got lots of different styles. I'm just a fisherman, probably like you, or a fisherwoman at home. I don't cast on a field, 
but this rod in the next few weeks will be going to a field and hopefully I can film that as well. If that's your bag, this rod for me is capable of fishing here at 20 yards all the way up to probably hitting 300 yards on a field. But that's my personal opinion and hopefully we can get someone who's capable of doing that and I'm already on the case. But look, let's get fishing. All I'm going to do now is just a simple over the head chuck and you will see this rod is capable of this, naturally. And there we go. Right, what I'm going to do now is get it up on the rest and show you what type of bend I can get in the rod at 20 or 30 yards, all because we've got this beautiful glass tip. And as you can see, look at that. Look at that tip. As I've said, not all bites are straightforward, especially on Chesil Beach where you've got tide running from left to right. Not all bites are straight pull downs. A lot of bites are where fish come along, pick up the lead and slacken you off. We call these a drop back bite. If I was to get one now on this rod, we could see, couldn't we? But look, I'll leave that with you. I'll keep fishing. Look at that tip, everyone. Look at that. So I suppose my main aim of showing you this is nowadays we all want a rod that can do everything. So at Tronix Pro, we're thinking on our feet all the time. We've got lots of people who've had lots of input in this rod. So before I started working in the fishing environment, I just thought, I don't know, stupidly or naively, that company's just built a rod on a whim, made it, and when it went out onto the, the beaches, if it wasn't any good, they just discontinued it. So this rod's been with us for probably 18 months and it's had lots of input from, from international match anglers, specimen hunters, from all around the UK. This rod's been used everywhere. I've used it in the Bristol Channel, South Coast here on Chesil naturally and it's just been brilliant. It's also been used on a field and it's hitting some big numbers. Like I've said to you, hopefully I can show you that. So I don't know how it's going to fish this afternoon or this evening. It's just gone low water. So we've got flood in tide, which is a positive. We've got blue water, it's crystal clear. So hopefully we can get into some summer species like the bream mackerel, scad, garfish, place. As I've mentioned, there's been quite a few cod laying around and they're all decent size. But you know what it's like when you get the camera out. But hopefully, the main part you can take away from this video is why we're super excited and proud of our new addition here, the blackout. But alongside that, hopefully, I can make us a nice fishing video. All right, what I'm gonna do, that's a big bait. So I'm using a five foot pulley with a 4.0 J hook and one of our 4.0 circle hooks with our Tronix Pro magic tubing for resistance. If you watched my videos before, then you will know I absolutely love our tubing for resistance. If you get a take on that top hook, that circle hook doesn't move. The tubing holds it in place, but allows you to move it for different sizes of bait naturally. And you get a clean hookup in the kisser every time. And there we go. We've got that beautiful monstrosity of a squid and two blacks wrapped up on a six ounce gripper on a five foot pulley 
ready to go. Let's get it out there. So you may be wondering why I'm trying to catch some fresh mackerel when I've already stated I've got some squid and some fresh blacks. Well, to be honest, it's been fishing quite hard recently. And what I like to do, and it's a little tip that I could probably get across to you is, when the fishing gets hard, especially somewhere like Chesil Beach and there's lots of mackerel in the area, the fish, the same as in the coarse fishing world, switch off and go on to naturals. And the natural bait running at the moment is obviously mackerel because there's lots of them, even though I'm not doing a great job at the moment of catching one. <laughs> but I just feel if I get a few fresh mackerel, and this could be something that you could do, then I've got more of a chance of getting some fish, especially when it gets dark. Nothing going on the big bait either. Just had a couple of little pull downs, so I thought I'd change the bait anyway. The last few weeks, the baits have been getting stripped, and I'm not sure if it's little crabs or small bream. But generally, I like to change my baits every 20 minutes. It's pretty much standard right around the UK. But what I'm finding is, my baits are getting stripped between five and 10 minutes. So it's not really relaxing. I know fishing's all about effort, but sometimes we all like to just sit back and watch your rods, especially on a day like today. As it's a little bit quiet on the mackerel front, Generally, just down to the time of day, I believe. First light and last light, it's the time you're going to get them. What I'm going to do is put it out a little bit further and see if I can pick us up a nice black bream. They always give nice bites and they're beautiful fish. So yeah, I'm just going to put it a little bit further. Just a simple over the head thump. Get it out there and see if we can get one of those beautiful bream. Pretty simple stuff. Hopefully, adding a little bit of distance will give me a chance of a bream. I can still pick up mackerel out there, but yeah, it's just still too high in the sky, the sun, still too warm for the mackerel. Probably six, seven o'clock tonight, hopefully, we can get a nice run. I've got squid and I've got some blacks. I just feel when it gets dark, I've got a chance of a nice conger eel or maybe an undulate ray or a formback ray on fresh mackerel. And we can light it up. I can show you how visual the black Mighty Bright is, which is just insane when it's dark. But look, I'll keep fishing. Hopefully, when I bring you back, we're getting a few taps from a black bream here on Chesil Beach. So I'm gonna change my tactics a little bit and fish at medium range. The last rig I was using on the blackout was a free below on a Tronics Pro Earth Rig. And what that means is I can't actually clip it down. It's great for movement, but it's literally as self-explanatory, it's free below the lead. So I can't make it any more streamlined. So what I'm going to do now is use a two-up loop rig. I'm going to clip it down. And this will allow me to hit it a little bit further. Well, hopefully. I'm fishing with my friend and he's just caught a bream. At sort of medium distance. So I'm copying him. You know how it goes. But look, there you go. There you go. 
nice simple cast. Hopefully I haven't missed it. I don't think I have. Whatever it is, it's not very big. Oh well. I jinxed it. We've only been fishing two hours, but I missed our first bite on camera on the blackout. It can only get better. Look, I'm gonna put this loop rig out now. Put it a little bit further. I stepped it up. I've got a six ounce rolling lead. Let's see if I can get it out in the tide. Unfortunately, the fishing's been quite poor, as you've seen. But I've waited for it to get dark, and I'd like to show you how bright the black Mighty Bright is on the build. It looks stunning, in keeping with the build. And at night, it's super bright. Well, I'm gonna pack up, make my way off this beach, and I'll bring you back again for part two, where hopefully, I can get us into some fish. Believe it or not, I've caught plenty of fish on this rod over the last six weeks. And I decided to take you out because we had a nice day with some lovely weather and the fish didn't want to play. See you soon, everyone. First cast of a new day, and we're back on Chesil Beach. As you've seen in part one, it was pretty hard. We got out, I got to show you the rod, but I didn't catch any fish. So ignore all that bit, and here we go again. It's gonna be a beautiful day got a wind coming straight over the top from behind but the sea should be flat and hopefully we've got a chance of a few bream. Once it gets a bit light we'll revisit the rod. I'll remind you of some of the key features and functions of why I absolutely love it and you would too. I've got a friend, Stu, who's a Welsh international. He's going to have a little play and he's going to give us his first impressions as he's not actually ever seen this beautiful rod. I'll sit back, we'll do some fishing. If we get any action, I'll bring you straight back. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Chesil Beach here in Dorset. Well, good morning. Back again. We're two days on from our previous session where I pretty much got into the meat of the rod. Hopefully, I've answered a lot of your questions. Today, really, or this morning, is to just try and catch a few fish here, which is always quite important. It doesn't really matter because this is really the launch video for the competition blackout from Tronics Pro. But it would be still nice to catch a few fish here. Today's target, bream, mackerel, scad. Try and get a few bites again. I know we had a few bites and we got to see the glass tip in all its glory at short range. 
and at long range. But I didn't land any fish, so it's been playing on my mind. You know how it is. But look, I'll keep fishing. This morning's tactics are a Tronix Pro Earth Rig, three below with some pop ups and little strips of squid. If I get a few bream, I may switch it up like I did last time. Fish a bit bigger and further, and hopefully I can get us a few species. But I can't promise that. But what I can promise is that competition blackout is a lovely rod and it's in stock now. Well, while I've been talking to you, my friend and Tronix Pro Ambassador, Stuart Jones, is straight into the fish. Could be a little codlin, I'd say. Or maybe a bream. It's not on the blackout though. <laughs> yeah, it's a cod. It will be, yeah. Thought you would have taken the black swing. Oh look, there's the black. I'm taking the little pop up. Not bad first cast on the bream rig. Well, as you've just seen, Stu straight in on the action. We will go and talk to Stu in a minute. I'll introduce you properly. But yeah, first light is key on Chesil Beach. And as you've just seen, you never know when you're fishing Chesil. He was popping up on a six foot bream rig and caught that codlin on a tiny little bit of squid. Wow. So what I'm gonna do now Let's put out a free at clip down. Let's have a look. So the first cast I went for free below on a Tronix Pro Earth rig. Checked it probably 30 or 40 yards with a simple over the head chuck. Now I've got a two hook loop rig or a Portsmouth loop rig, or whatever you like to call it. And I'm gonna try and get it out there. Probably gonna be hitting 60 to 80 so medium distance. I've got a nice wind behind me, so let's chuck it up nice and high and let the wind do the rest. Well, and the rod. I've got a bit of a bank behind me, so I've got to go a little bit careful. I don't deck it. Let's pop it up in the air, shall we? If I cast nice and high, the wind should help me. And there we are. I couldn't really drop the tip on that one. So I've got that bank behind me. But we're out there and we're fishing. And there you go. One thing you would notice straight away is that glass tip is working. Look at it over in that tide. And remember, I'm not even using a grip lead. I'm using a rolling lead any indication or any movement we're going to see that straight away maybe if it's a pull down bite your standard bite and definitely if it's a drop back it's going to be all about maximum effort today pretty much like the last session part one yeah so what i'm going for now is we've gone for pop-ups close range then i've gone for a loop rig medium range and now I'm going to go for a five foot pulley with a seven ounce grip lead. Okay. My pulley system, simple. And three frozen blacks held with a 4 0 circle out of Tronix Pro with my magic tube in to a 3 0 J hook. Get it up in the air, get it out in that tide, and hopefully I can get us a summer codlin on the beautiful competition blackout. busy messing around doing some promotional stuff for this rod and I wasn't really looking 
and I've turned round and I've got a little bit of a slack line. So I should have put the camera straight on, but where we've had no fish, I didn't actually believe it. So we've actually missed a bite, I'm sorry, but I think I've caught us a fish on the new competition blackout. I have done recently, but as you know, in the last couple of times I've been out, I struggled, but I believe, well, I know, because I've seen it, we've caught ourselves a bream at last. Look, I can do it. And look at that. There you go, everyone. Thanks for your patience. That is a Chesil Beach bream on the competition blackout. What a beautiful fish. It's not the biggest, but wow, I tried hard for that. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Mr. Bream. Let's get it back. There you go. Oh. Well, hopefully, and I think you will agree with me, I've put in the effort over two sessions. Believe it or not, before I brought the camera with me, meaning you guys, I caught lots of fish on this beautiful rod. But look, that's how it goes. When you've got the camera there, you always add hidden pressures and things don't always go to plan. But look, hopefully you've had a good look at this rod. It's absolutely stunning. So I just wanna run over a few things. It's got a glass tip. It's 13.4 feet long, which is two equal sections. It's fully K-wagged. It's got the black Mighty Bright, which as you've seen, shines up an absolute treat at night. It's got an optimum casting weight of six ounces plus bait and it's made with Japanese tea carbon. As you can see, I'm just a normal angler like you. I'm not a super duper caster and I can get it out there. I can fish it short range with the glass tip. And as you've seen, I've been able to hit it a bit further and the tip is fantastic at whatever range I fish. So my name's Wayne. This has been Chesil Beach. This is the competition blackout. As I said at the start of the video, if you are in the market of getting a new rod, then please look no further than the competition blackout out of Tronix Pro. I look forward to seeing you again soon, where I may take us just fishing, or I might have some exciting products to show off to you. But either way, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.